with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. People were coming and going in great numbers and they had no opportunities even to eat. So they went off in a boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived in the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus At the opening conference of the National Eucharistic Congress, Christophe Cardinal Pierre, Apostolic Nuncio to the United States, reminded us of St. John Paul II's remarks, the Eucharist is the sacrament and source of the Church's unity. His Holiness uh, went on to quote St. Cyprian's explanation. For when the Lord calls the bread formed of the union of many grains his body, and when he calls the wine pressed from many clusters of grapes and poured together his blood, in the same way he indicates our flock formed of a multitude united together. The only God who gave us his only Son gathers together the people of the world into one church. And the Eucharist manifests this truth. Now, does the Eucharist manifest this truth in you? Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flock of my pasture, says the Lord through Jeremiah. On the contrary, the Lord himself unites, brings together. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh. Through his flesh, the death of Jesus on the cross wrought this reconciliation. And the Holy Eucharist represents and strengthens that bond of unity. And we are part of the powerful symbolism of this sacrament, or at least we should be. On this day, the Lord's Day, each week, all those who believe Jesus when he said, this is my body, and this is the chalice of my blood, gather around the one altar of sacrifice, albeit in many different locations. They hear the same readings, make the same acclamations, profess the same creed, and most importantly, receive the same Lord in the Eucharist if they are properly disposed. Conversely, the unity of the Church in the Eucharist is injured by those who do not believe in the real presence, those who neglect to attend Mass on Sundays, 
or those who receive our Lord in a state of unrepented mortal sin. Additionally, since the Eucharist and its unity are meant to be lived out, any attitude or behavior that fosters division within the body of Christ is gravely sinful because it leads you and others away from God. They become sheep without a shepherd. Now, to be clear, all of us have sinned against the unity of the church at some point or another. In fact, every sin harms our union with God, neighbor, and self to a certain degree. However, we remain ever free to return to Jesus and his church through the sacrament of reconciliation. And the Eucharist itself has the power to wipe away less severe sins. Our Lord looks upon all of us gathered here, and his heart is moved with pity for us. For we are, at times, like sheep without a shepherd. May he be our shepherd forever. And may the Eucharist always be a true and powerful sign of our love for God and for neighbor.